Welcome to Skydo everyone. We are starting with navigation and in navigation we are starting with journal navigation. So the first chapter of journal navigation is direction, latitude and longitude. So moving ahead in this video we gonna cover the shape of the earth which is what really is the shape of the earth? Is it really a sphere or something else? You will find the answer of this ahead in this video. And the next topic we will cover is the compression. What really is compression? And the third one is poles. Moving ahead, starting with our first topic is the shape of the earth. So, what is the shape of the earth? This is the picture of earth, and here I see is some. This is the earth, which is a sphere, and here is some distorted image. What really is this? So, the simple view of the shape of the earth is that it is a sphere and this is nearly true. So, we all know that we all have heard from our childhood that the earth is a sphere. But earth is not a true sphere. So, what it is? The centrifugal force created by the spinning produces slightly more mass around the middle. So, what happens? That we all know that our earth spins so by spinning the centrifugal force which is created by the spinning produces slightly more mass around the middle of the earth therefore earth is slightly flattened at the poles and wide at the equator and can be described as an oblate spheroid so what it is it is like earth is slightly flattened at the poles and wide at the equator so here you can see this is the perfect spear which is not the exact shape of the earth. The exact shape of the earth is something like this. This is more mass at the middle. It means more wide from the equator and flattened from the poles. As you can see in the diagram, this is the exact shape of the earth. This shape developed when the earth formed from a gas cloud as the spinning of the cloud caused higher centrifugal force at the equatorial region than in the region near the poles. So what happened we all know like the billions of years ago earth evolved from the gases. So because of this the gas cloud caused higher centrifugal force at the equatorial region and as a result, Earth is quite wide at the equators and flat at the poles, or we can say narrow at the poles. The compression. What is the compression? The difference in diameter. The difference in diameter is called compression. Here we are talking about the Earth diameter. Which diameter? Earth equatorial diameter and Earth polar diameter. So. We all know that Earth is not a perfect shape of year. Due to this, we have some distortion in Earth's shape, which is Earth equatorial diameter is not equal to Earth polar diameter. As you can see in the figures, that the Earth equatorial diameter is 12,756 km and the polar diameter is 12,713 km. This earth compression is polar diameter compared to equatorial diameter. As we have discussed, this is polar diameter compared to the equatorial diameter. The earth polar diameter is 27 statute miles or 23 nautical miles or 43 kilometers less than its equatorial diameter. So this is the difference in both of the diameter. Like earth, we can say that the equatorial diameter is 43 kilometers larger than the polar diameter or polar diameter is 43 kilometer smaller than equatorial diameter. Moving ahead, the compression ratio is the ratio between the polar diameter and equatorial diameter which indicates the amount of flattening it also described in percentage. We know what the compression is. From this we can discuss what is the compression ratio? So the compression ratio is a term and we can define it like the ratio between the polar diameter and the equatorial diameter. And same, this is also can be described in percentage, right? 
The compression percentage is 0.3 percentage and the ratio is approximately 1 by 300. So we got two terms, sorry, we got three, three terms like compression. Second one is compression ratio. Third one is compression percentage. We all know that compression is polar diameter to equatorial diameter. Compression ratio is also polar diameter to the equatorial diameter. Compression percentage is a percentage. It's just an amount to express the flattening of the earth. Recent satellite survey shows that the earth is in fact pear shaped with the larger mass being in the southern hemisphere. Recent satellite survey has shown that the earth has more mass in southern hemisphere which means earth is a pear shape but less mass in northern hemisphere and more mass in the southern hemisphere. Although distortion is considerably less than compression distortion and is measured in tens of meter rather than kilometer. So what they are saying, they are saying this pear shaped distortion means like the southern and northern hemisphere distortion is very less like it is in meters and where this compression distortion like we have seen earlier now 43 kilometer is the difference between the polar and equatorial diameter right moving ahead earth is not quite either of this and so the only word to describe it is earth shaped so they are saying earth is not nor a sphere nor a pear shape so we can describe earth shape is earth shaped this is what the word geoid of the greek origin means so earth is not an pear shape not an sphere it is a geoid so i hope you got what is the shape of the earth right so the poles we all know that we have two poles north north and south pole so what we gonna see here so what is left for the discussion let's see the earth spin about an axis called the polar axis so this is the axis of the earth which is called as polar axis and we all are very familiar that the earth spin about this axis earth orbits around sun in elliptical path we all very well know that the earth orbits around the sun in an elliptical path. An important factor to notice that the polar axis is not perpendicular to plane in which earth is orbiting the sun. Okay, so this is the plane in which earth is orbiting the sun and this polar axis is not perpendicular to this plane. We can see that moving ahead. So, now you can see very clearly this is the orbital plane and this is the polar axis which is not perpendicular which is tilted by a degree of 23 and half degree right so earth is so polar axis is inclined towards the orbital plane by an angle of 23 and half degree this angle of inclination is often referred to as the tilt of the earth. This angle of inclination is often referred to as the tilt of the earth. So we can conclude that the, our earth is tilted by the angle of 23 and half degree. The two extremities of polar axis are called poles. This is our imaginary polar axis. And these two extremities, like where they ends at the Earth's surface, this one and this one, it is a North Pole and this one is South Pole. The actual definition would be the poles are defined as the extremities of the axis about which the Earth spins. This is the definition, this is what exactly I have said. We have two poles, North Pole and a South Pole. And thank you for watching this video. That's it for the today's lecture.